Right, hello my friends, welcome back to This Week on the Internet. Now thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers in our first week. Uh, if you are new around here, uh, please feel free to join us and press that big... Ooh, ooh, it's not red anymore. Uh, press that button. Now, over the course of the last seven days, an American football game was played during a Rihanna concert. A 48-year-old man from Middlesbrough discovered fake tan and, according to chat logs obtained by Vice World News, Andrew Tate has put a bounty on KSI's uh, rather large forehead. Uh, that has to be the easiest job of that gunman's life. So first up, uh, last Saturday morning, a story began to emerge that had Twitter in a chokehold. So this, this is Bill. So Bill here was kicking about outside the Olympic Stadium before Chelsea West Ham as an away fan. 50 years old, he says, uh, which is also known as uh, 30 years older than Chelsea. All right, now I can't show it, but Bill got walloped. I've got to say, uh, it's nice to see West Ham fans finally given something to celebrate. So this was everywhere last Saturday, uh, but the story didn't end there. Here's another video of Bill uh, shortly afterwards. Oh, have some shame, fella. Surely if you go to a football match, right, you're dressed as your big football hooligan self, you know, you've done your top button up dead tight, you've got your hair slipped back, and you get sparked by some kid who's just there with his dad, Surely you just go home. Uh, I guess you could say um, Bill Bill had a, a wheelie, wheelie bad day out. <laughs> uh, apparently after the incident, uh, Bill's boss came out and it turns out Bill's not even a Chelsea fan. He's actually a supporter of League Two side AFC Wimbledon and therefore used to spending his Saturdays getting battered. Zing. That's terrible. Now this week, the Brit Awards returned to ITV on Saturday night for its uh, first ever Saturday slot in broadcasting history. That's a fucking boring fact. This year's Brit saw Harry Styles sweep the ceremony as he took home four awards, winning in every category he was nominated in, including the coveted Artist of the Year. Uh, well done, fella. I'm sure you're watching. However, this year's awards was far from seamless with the usual awkward table interviews, controversial speeches, and some unexpected technical difficulties. We'll start with uh, whatever the fuck Sam Smith is wearing here. Uh, Sam has reportedly since been hired by the Chinese government to work as a spy balloon. They look like one of those anti-smoking campaigns. You know, it's like, oh, this is the lungs of a person who smokes 60 a day. Uh, a lot of people argue, oh, you can't call somebody them, you know, if there's if it's just one person. Well, my friends, uh, it turns out that wasn't the case. There was actually two of them. Amazing number one single, forget me, it's the brilliant go crazy. It's Sam Capaldi. When Lewis wrote the song, forget me, uh, Mo, he didn't mean literally. <coughs> that was tragic. Uh, anyway, also that night, the band Wet Leg won Best New Artist and Best Group. This is really cool. Thanks very much. Um... There is not one of them that's had a shower this week. The band then signed off their winning speech with Fuck the Tories, uh, much to the dismay of the ITV bosses. Fuck the Tories. Cheers. Now, ironically, uh, one of them has the poshest name I've ever heard. Uh, this woman here is called Hester Chambers. Hester Chambers. Was she baptised in pimps? Uh, then later on in the show, it, uh, it kept going because Tom Grennan and Ellie Golding were chosen to present an award. I love what you're doing. They're your real boobs? These are not, no, these are oh, not mine. Oh, sorry. I sorry. wish. Oh. Now that moment turned out to be the only thing on the night more uncomfortable than Sam Smith's outfit. Fuck me, the jokes are gonna get better. They're gonna get better soon. Please subscribe, follow us on Spotify. <coughs> um, moving on! The Super Bowl! Uh, no, it's a stupid... It pisses me off, right? Because it's it's got to be the only sporting event in the world, like a big one, like a big final, where the result doesn't matter. Like for us over here in the UK, it happens like Sunday night, you wake up Monday morning. I can't say I, I particularly care, but I wake up and I go to check the score. You know, you like search it in on Twitter like you would do with any other normal sport. But you can't fucking see it. Like you're scrolling through pages of like, oh, oh, did you see this advert? Did you see the singing? It's bollocks. Stupid fucking country. Um, 
<coughs> sorry um, to Liam, uh, the This Week on the Internet editor. Uh, he's recently joined. He lives in California and has to sit through this every week of me abusing um, that nation. I just want to say, Liam, thank you so much for your work. Um, and we don't mean you. I've got to say, the halftime show, I, it was quite sick. Uh, they had Rihanna, they suspended her in the air like some pure Jedi. Uh, she unzipped her outfit to reveal a baby bump and a plastic breastplate. Nobody tell Tom Grennan. Anyway, uh, moving on to my favourite story of the week, my friends. Let me introduce you to Darren. Now, Darren's 48. He's from Middlesbrough. Uh, sorry to hear that, Darren. Uh, anyway, uh, this week, Darren had a big date while sunning it up in Benidorm. Um, for some unknown reason, whilst prepping for this big day, Darren decided to try out fake tan for the first time. Uh, and unfortunately, after applying it, fell asleep and woke up a bizarre shade of orange. Apparently, Darren's date then blocked him and is refusing to speak to him. He's also serving 18 months for a racial hate crime. Also, over the last seven days, McDonald's is set to remove this advert for its McCrispy burger after it was um, rather unfortunately positioned next to a crematorium. Apparently, there's a drive through down there, um, but it's, it's um, ash only. <laughs> Could we uh, just mention the fact that there's a, there's a bus stop for the crematorium? That'll make your granddad's funeral more depressing. Getting there on the number 32 bus. Also, this week, Aiden Ross has reportedly signed an $150 million deal to join streaming platform Kick. <laughs> All right, my friends, it gets worse because written down here, I have got paying a new signing 75 million a year. Does, does Todd Bowley run it? Honestly, right, like this week was a, we, we rushed. We didn't rush this week. Uh, I'm just shit at writing jokes. Moving on. This video is fucking nuts. I, and it came out of Malaysia this week. They were hearing strange noises above them while sleeping last night. <laughs> now, <coughs> I guess you could say that's a house uh, suffering a reptile dysfunction. Uh, the snakes weren't, though. They were shagging. Apparently, that's whatever they're doing there is sex. Uh, moving on to hopefully a better topic, a more entertaining, a more useful, um, a more... Nope. Uh, fan cam kid. There uh, was this week uh, a... Fuck me, this is dry. Uh, a kid called George. This is George. He went to his first ever hockey game. Uh, and a clip went viral of the... What do they call it? The fan? The Jumbo Jumbotron. I just think you've got to be a wrong one to bring a sign to a hockey game. Be like, oh, it's, oh, it's my son's first game. I hope he gets on the big screen. Uh, I reckon his dad was hoping it was a kiss cam. I can't say that. Also this week, uh, MGK, and I've just spat all over the camera, if you could see that, but forget it. Uh, Megan Fox and MGK, they've broken up. What a fucking shame. We'll never hear from them again. Yeah. Uh, Megan, 36. Is she only fucking 36? She's been... I was must know. Uh, <laughs> you can't really be 36 and with a fella who calls himself Machine Gun. Uh, so I understand her motives if it was her that broke it up. But anyway, she posted this picture this week with a caption from Beyonce's single, uh, Pray You Catch Me, uh, which is apparently about cheating and that. Uh, so people think he cheated figures. Her caption read, uh, you can taste the dishonesty, it's all over your breath. Mr. Machine, you dirty, dirty boy. Uh, the Transformers star, I respect this, right, she unfollowed everyone but Eminem, Timothy Chalamet and Harry Styles. Go get your leg over, lass. Uh, oh god, right, in more Pointless celebrity news. If you've watched Love Island in 2021 uh, and you still remember this, this big angry woman, Faye, uh, well, she was with this less angry man called Teddy and they're not together anymore. Uh, and my, our cameraman, Yian, has literally <laughs> sat in the background <laughs> yawning. Uh, <laughs> I would say like the only like noteworthy thing about this is, you know, the kind of the usual Instagram story breakup announcement post. Uh, she signed hers off 
Lots of love, Faith and Bonnie. Now, Bonnie, in this situation, is an eight-month-old golden retriever. <coughs> I guess I guess you could say that's a bitch move. Uh, I do think that's pretty sly, though, to just be like, I'm breaking up with you. Uh, also, that dog you really love, he has a lovely picture of her. you never seen her again. Moving on to more important news this week. Look at this picture of a toaster. Posted with the title, Toaster. Never taken out of box. Also, this week, my friends, Doorman Studios has found itself in some hot water after its actors have spoken out because apparently they've not been paying them very much. Doorman, I thought he was a good guy. <laughs> so, I'll be honest, I am usually very much in, in support of striking workers. Uh, not these ones, though. I don't know if you've ever seen any of these videos, uh, but the acting in them is usually so bad, I'm surprised they're not paying him. Also, this week, uh, the Coca-Cola company have announced that the soft drink Lilt is being discontinued after half a century of production. What a shame! A household name that's been in countless children's mouths taken from us at 50. Just like Michael Jackson. Ah, okay, what's next up? Is it good? Y yes, it is. It's good. Uh, this week, uh, King Charles, it's shit actually, King Charles having a sock in his hole, a hole in his sock, I mean, whilst during a visit to Brick Lane Mosque has made national news. The hole in King Charles' sock makes me proud to be British, writes Telegraph Communist, columnist, <laughs> writes Telegraph Columnist Judith Wood. Wait until you see the hole in Prince Andrew's boxers, Judith. Poor, poor Charles, though, I heard that he always got new socks off his mum for Christmas. Um, moving on! <coughs> this post of the world's largest aircraft prototype went viral, for obvious reasons. Um, reports say it's the first ever aircraft to come with its own landing strip. That's, um, that's a joke for all you uh, sex havers out there. Also this week, uh, German streamer Zyko Dread had a bit of a mishap whilst unboxing his brand new PC. Also, you'd think uh, the fucker faked it wasn't a real PC. Big slag. Okay, now the big juicy story from this week. Uh, Vice have reported that a close associate of Andrew Tate has put a bounty on KSI's head after JJ uh, supported Tate's ban from social media platforms. Now, I should explain, by bounty, they don't want him shot. Uh, they want him cancelled. Apparently in like the depths of the, the Hustlers University Discord, when Andrew Tate ever like beefs with someone, they go and like hunt out clips or whatever they can use against the other person to kind of like take them down. I don't know if it's like organized within Andrew Tate's circle or if it's just like fans doing it, but it's what I reckon probably happened to Brian a couple of months ago when he, him and Andrew Tate were going back and forward. Because Brian's thing, like it didn't, he didn't say what he said and then it blew up the next day. I think it was a little while after and they've probably gone and dragged it up. Anyway, uh, we've got the messages from inside the Discord. At students, going to make a KSI cancelled bounty as well. Whoever gets the most views on a video showing that KSI needs to be condemned and cancelled. The world needs to know KSI is a hypocrite and has done horrible things and that he should be cancelled himself. You have 48 hours for this one. Be careful not to make it bannable since KSI says some horrible, horrible things. Best video wins. What do they win? Uh, your own sex trafficking ring? Oh, don't, don't come for me. I don't know. Uh, I personally just feel like letting Andrew Tate decide who gets cancelled is a bit like letting Sam Smith decide what you're wearing for dinner this evening. Anyway... My friends, last week we launched the This Week on the Internet Reddit. So let's see what you lot have had to contribute. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I need to answer this, right? This isn't cum. It's just scratched, okay? Right, I, I know it looks a bit scruffy, but I'm not changing it just because you lot are fussy. It's Mikey's protein powder. Shut up. You're not funny. Hey, we've got a picture of an incredibly detailed penis made out of snow. Well, cheers for that, lads. Uh, that was this week's episode of This Week on the Internet. Uh, please subscribe. Follow us on all our social medias. Spotify is the really important one. If you wouldn't mind giving us a five-star rating, uh, even though we don't deserve it, uh, that would be great. And we'll see you again next Monday at 8 o'clock. Goodbye.